time I have been looking at these Chinese cabins. Uh, they are kind of a, in a round shape with a draw at the bottom and I really really like them. So I went on Fusion 360 and designed uh, this cabin and here I am printing uh, with both my print heads at the same time so that I can make two different sets of this. I am printing this in a wood filament. I have a light brown and a dark brown and here you see the three parts for one side of the cabin. I will place a link for the print file in the info box below and maybe in the iCard here in the corner. I glue the top part to this bottom part of the cabin itself and I'm just putting a little glue on each of the shelves here and then I am placing the top part onto this bottom part just like you see me do right here and I'm actually using the draw here to make sure that everything is placed right. I leave that to dry and then I will go to the drawers that needs a little handle. So I have an eye pen and I have a thing for a necklace thingy and a little jewelry. And now I am going to take my uh, drill bit and I'm going to drill a tiny hole into the drawer. And that's actually very easy in this wood filament. So I'm just going to find the place where I want the little hole. I'm using my mat here as a measurement and finding the middle and marking where I want the little hole to go and just making sure that I have it in the right height here. And then I'm going to drill the hole through the wood filament. I open the eye here on the eye pen and I place this thing for a necklace in there. I don't know what this piece is called. Then I am placing this little jewelry like that. And I'm going to glue this little jewelry uh, to the eye pen so that it sit sits exactly like I want it to. Then I am cutting the length of this pin down so that I can place it through the little hole in the draw, in the draw, 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 uh, whatever. Uh, and I'm going to glue that into place just with a tiny bit of super glue gel here. And when that is uh, holding on to the little jewelry, I am going to cut the pin inside of the drawer down into the size I want it to, actually as close as possible to the drawer edge. And then I'm just giving that piece a tiny bit of a glue as well. I'm doing that with all four drawers. Actually, there's only supposed to be two drawers for one set of furniture, but I made two sets. So I made this one in dark brown. That's the first set with the working drawers in there. Very cool. I actually like this really much. And then, of course, I made it also in the uh, light colored wood. I will show you that in a second. So that was why I had to make four drawers. Uh, so that's a lighter color again with working drawers. So that is it for today. I hope you liked this video. Thank you for watching. I know it's not much, but um, yeah, I just wanted to make this. Thank you for watching and happy crafting.